Meghan Markle didn't show up yesterday to pick up another award she bought for herself, the Gracie Awards. Meghan Markle keeps buying awards from one award to another. If she isn't buying an award, she is busy lying, scheming, grifting. There are five reasons why Meghan Markle didn't show up for the Gracie's awards yesterday night. The first reason, obviously, is the shame that she felt after her near catastrophic car chase was debunked by many media outlets and media personalities with facts because as we all know it is proven that there is no way a near catastrophic car chase would take place in the middle of manhattan in new york city megan marco is not the only celebrity in quotes because megan marco is not a celebrity not everyone knows about know about megan marco what does she do we've got big stars who live in New York City and they've never been involved in a near catastrophic car chase situation. So Meghan Markle's car chase, near catastrophic, terrific, horrific car chase situation has been debunked. So she is ashamed. She is now buried her face in sand because she can't stand the people in the award ceremony because Maybe the pops or someone in the crowd or someone in the award ceremony is going to pose a question. Were you really involved in a near catastrophic car chase situation? And what was she going to tell them when everything has been debunked with facts? So the second reason why Meghan Markle turned down the award, she accepted the award actually. The second reason why she didn't show up for the award might be because Christina Apple, who had worked with her dad, Thomas Marco, in Married with Children, was also supposed to be in the award ceremony. She was awarded an award. So Meghan Marco didn't want to face Christina Apple in the same room or the same place because she didn't want to get questions about that side of her family which she has discarded i mean her her dad she doesn't want to have anyone asking her about her dad she has revealed that she grew up in the scenes of married with children she's quite familiar and used to christina apple the third reason why megan Marco didn't show up for the award might be probably the fact that her husband lost his case with the British Home Office. His bid to have police protection, he lost it. So they might be devastated that her husband doesn't have the protection that he so desired and he wanted to pay for the protection. And the police said, hey, no, hey, hello, Prince Harry. You are Prince Harry. You are a normal individual and because you are no longer a royal family member like a working royal, you can't get police protection any longer. But he insisted that he, was, he wanted to pay for police protection anytime he is in the UK. But the police said, like, you don't need to pay for any kind of protection because every time Harry goes to the UK for any official royal family occasion he automatically gets police protection like scotland yard protection police protection so why is he insisting to have a special kind of protection so the police said you can as well hire private security you don't need the police like the british home office to protect you and harry's furious because he is normally yes the litigation prince as we speak, he's got another five cases in court. So now he lost this one and he is moving on to the next one. The litigation prince, of course. Yeah, with his wife, his mega liar, with his wife strongly behind him. So they might have been devastated with the news. So that's why Meghan Markle didn't show up for the award to pick a second award of the month that she paid for. The fourth reason why Meghan Markle didn't show up for the Gracie's award might be the status of their relationship. There has been horrible rumors about Harry and Meghan's relationship in the past month or past weeks or so. And the Telegraph 
revealed that Harry lives in two separate locations apart from his Montecito mansion. In these two separate locations, he goes there to wind up. He goes there to relax his mind from his current situation. How can a married man, Harry, who is married to Meghan, whom he claims to love more than anyone else in the world, run away from Meghan to some location to relax his mind? What he re trying to relax his mind from? So people are thinking that so many conspiracies. People are thinking that they already separated. Harry is working on the papers for their subsequent divorce. Harry and Meghan don't live anymore. And also in, in one of Lady C's videos, I saw that she said there is like an insider who informed her that Prince Harry, when he left the coronation ceremony, after the crowning ceremony, he went straight to California, not to Montecito at as he had said that he was rushing to go to his son's fourth birthday, his son Prince Archie's birthday. But he didn't go to Montecito. He went to California. If that's true, it means Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan might have separated. They only show up for public events and they act as if they are still together and happy. And after the event, when the cameras are down, they go back. To their they go their separate ways. These rumors might be true, and that's why Meghan Markle didn't show up to pick up her awards. And the last reason is Meghan Markle herself. Harry and Meghan, as we have seen, sent a message to the paparazzi agency to backgrid and asked them and demanded for the footage that the paparazzi took of their near catastrophic car chase situation. And the Bad Grits lawyer replied, and the reply was savage. They insisted that they were never going to give or to hand over any video, any footages or any pictures to Harry and Meghan because they've got no right to ask them to hand it over to them. They insisted that America is not a, colon a British colony anymore. They gained their independence a long time ago. So Prince Harry is not a prince in America and he doesn't have to ask, no, he doesn't have to demand for anything from anyone in America. So that reply was savage. So maybe they are irritated and disgusted by the reply. And that's why Meghan Markle and Harry are seated somewhere in their Montecito mansion, crying and sobbing and playing victim and crying and saying, oh, we, we've been victimized again. How are we going to come out from this? They don't know our story. We need to tell our truth. <laughs> like Gil King says, <laughs> you need to listen to them and ask them what I'm thinking about the near catastrophic car chase situation is that how did they feel in that moment? Come on. <laughs> you could see from the photos that Megan was relaxed and giving angles to the paths so that they get, get the best shot for, from Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. And while Harry was watching Peppa Pig in his phone, he pretended as if he was taking a video a video. Some people claim that he's taking a video for his Netflix docu-series part two. And others think that he was watching Peppa Pig because obviously Prince Harry is 12 year old. He is a man baby. He was obviously watching a cartoon. Why Doria Raglan was relaxed and watching or playing Candy Crush on her phone. <laughs> so they didn't look terrified not at all they were relaxed so why would you say such a thing as i want to think i want to ask them how they felt in that moment come on they didn't even have seat belts on <laughs> I, I think girl king is the only one who believes that bs harry and megan are two pathological liars. They need to get away. They need to go and hide their faces. They need to go and hide their faces. It's about time. 
Americans are tired of Harry and Meghan. So where are they going to go next? Canada, maybe, because they can't go back to the UK. They can't go, they can't stay in America. And now, maybe Canada, Canadians, do you want Harry and Meghan? Maybe you get them for a while, you know. How about that? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And please don't forget to subscribe, share, and come back for more juice and more gist. See you all. Love you. Bye.